Hey everybody, it's Chris at Dean's Creek Ranch. So here comes the big day. We've got the cows who are right there on the pond pasture side and the donkeys who are over here. And we're gonna see if everybody plays well together. <laughs> Let's see how this goes. Well, the donkeys don't seem to care at all, which is great. Good job, Mom. Look at that. Look at Big Dean checks. Look at his teeth. Yeah. Donka! Donka Tundra! Well, Johnny's over there. Oh, there's Johnny by the tree line. He's kind of... Kind of checking it out. You guys all going to play well together? We shall see. Valentine and Johnny meeting for the first time. Let's see if I can get in the shadow. There is Dolly and June. Obviously, this was the meeting that we were concerned about because the jack and the uh, steers. So what do you guys think? You know, everybody be friends? Oh, Valentine's taking the claim. Took a step forward and made Johnny walk, walk away. I was like, sorry, buddy. I got seniority. Good job, buddy. There he goes. The walk of shame. Okay, so far so good. We've got three cows, two Longhorns and a Hereford, with one Jack and two Jennies. So far, you saw earlier, Valentine, he's showing a little dominance, and we saw actually checks there earlier. He did the same thing over by the water troughs, which I just filled up. So to finish off today's chores, this fence line needs a little tenon too. You can see it leaning over a little bit. I'm gonna straighten those uh, T posts out and these big black center posts, I'm gonna go ahead and wire up. And that should call it a day for Pasture maintenance at Dean's Creek Ranch. Like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and what do we say at Dean's Creek Ranch? See ya! Okay, bonus footage. Just because I figured, why not show everybody what I'm doing here? And specifically because this fence line was not in as good a shape as I thought. If you see these clips here, that clump the fence line onto the T-post, I'm going around, let's see if I can, ta-da! with a pair of vice grips and hooking them back up. That being said, I would say about a third are missing. And we see the big metal poles down the way. Those 
to cut off about six inches of the baling wire and then wire that back on. And if you see the fence leaning the way it does, it's because Tonka comes through here, the big Hereford, and scratches his belly and pushes on the fence. Now, about two Easter's ago, he, on the other side of the pasture, he rolled over into the neighbor's yard, which is not good. So Casey and I had to coax him over with treats. And I know just the guy to lay on the fence to bend it over enough to get him back over. I don't know if I should be bragging about that, but it is what it is. Well, see, the fence is coming back straight now. The cows, I just saw Casey over there uh, giving them some treats. The new donkeys are over there by the water. Like, subscribe, you know what to do. See ya.